Hello guys, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to instantly make your videos look five times, ten times, a hundred times better with this simple fix. Alright, some of you already know about this effect, it's called stop motion. It's literally literally stop motion, so moving pictures, yeah, and it can easily turn your videos, transform your videos, and make people like be like, wow, you are a great editor. I'm gonna tell you guys how you can achieve this look or this effect for your edits. First step you wanna do is make sure you're shooting in burst mode on your camera. So burst mode is basically, once you click the, the camera shutter, it basically takes mad pictures. Once you're taking the shutter pictures, you have your burst folders now, you know, import that to your laptop, create a folder, name it stop motion. All the pictures you've taken on burst mode are in that folder, right? Boom. Open your software. I use Premiere Pro, so I open my Premiere Pro. This is the most, most important part. You can either drop each picture one by one, but trust me, you've taken 200, 100 pictures in burst mode. If you drop 200 pictures in burst mode one by one, it's going to be crazy. You don't want that. Or you can literally do this. So you go to import and you have to go to where you save that folder. That's why I said create that folder at first. Open to where you save that folder, open it. Then listen to me step by step. You right click, you have to arrange by name because it has to go from one in order of how you took the pictures, right? So then you click on the first picture, then you see options at the bottom. I use a MacBook, so you see options at the bottom, then you click on image sequence, right? So once you've done that and the first picture is clicked, so you click on import. Once it's imported, you're gonna it's gonna come like a, a purple thing or a purple like file or whatever. You drag that to your timeline, and all you have to do right now is just stretch it to how you know how fast or how slow you want it to be. So and that's how I achieve this look. So guys, this is basically how you achieve the stop motion look. Try it out for yourself and you know, let me know how it goes. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one.